So, Lexi, for the people who doesn't know about uh, who you are and what you're doing, can you tell the audience? Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Lexi Jensen. I'm known as May on High. And uh, I'm a FPV drone racing pilot for six years right now. And I'm having a YouTube channel and business created around FPV. That's perfect. So in the previous video, we talked about a lot of uh, client stuff because there is a lot of content on this uh, platform regarding like the flying and the people doing the co commercial work, but there is not too much uh, videos about like talking about how to land clients and work with clients and be like, uh, how to, to be around the clients. So I think one of the first things I'm going to ask you is like, how do you reach out? Like, is it happen naturally? Do people reach out to you or are they like, or are you trying to reach out to the clients? I think it's a mix. Mostly I'm trying to reach out to the clients, but sometimes, for example, someone heard about me or one of my friends was like, hey, I was talking to this company and they were like, I'm looking for really something different. And I was like, I know a person. Yeah. So it happens sometimes. The biggest network you have of people who know what you are doing and know that you are doing good work, the better. Yeah. But also reaching out to clients is extremely important because no one has ever found you on your couch. Yeah, that's like the, the, the most important thing is like never think that you're big enough to not reach out to clients. That's like yeah, the, exactly. the biggest failure you can do, not only in FP, but I think in general when it comes to all in type of business. work. Yeah, exactly. So the next question is, when you land a job, how do you prepare for the job? How do you approach and talk to the clients? And uh, is there any tips on how to like make it the best out of the shoot day? Well, I think the most important thing is to know what client wants and is it realistic? That's one. And two... Is it kind of legal for you to do it? So if they are like, I need a video in a week from the center city of Frankfurt, you're like, well, it won't won't happen. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail. Uh, but if you are really honest with them, like, hey, my drone flies just three minutes. It's not an Inspire. We need to get a permission to actually fly there because you checked on Airmap IO and you, for example, give the whole information on what airspace it is. You look really professional. Yep. That's one. And you gain a lot of points with this. And two, you also can plan if things are actually real to do. So I think it's really important to be honest with yourself and with a client and be really informative about the things that you are doing. Not like, sorry, can't do, but sorry, I cannot do it in a week because we need the permission. I don't think it's possible to actually land it and stuff like this. Yep. And it actually helps a lot, I think. And it builds a real relationship with a client because the client knows everything what's going on. Yeah, I totally agree. And the clients want you more to be honest than like, because when it comes to the end, they're going to realize that you like, you talked about getting that and that and the shoot day comes and they realize that, oh, he or she didn't get that shot and that shot. So being honest yeah. always is something the clients are going to appreciate way more than just saying like, oh yeah, I can totally do everything. Yeah, exactly. And it's much better to over over deliver yep. rather than down deliver. Yeah, exactly. That's so the, they will remember that. Yeah, that's what I always think like too. They they have a vision in their mind and like we want this to work out. And I think it's more important to be like, yeah, we are going to try our absolutely best, but we cannot guarantee it. And if you mm -hmm. can do if you can do it, it's fine because they know about it. But if you can do it, they're gonna be like really excited. So yeah, I think that's very important. Yeah. Exactly. And when it comes to like pricing and not only because I think people think about the pricing to be like only for the shoot, only for the clips, but there is a lot of more expenses going around this with, uh, with travel fees and hotels and stuff like that. Do you like work? So uh, do you plan out to like you, you're giving the prices of everything or do you make the, uh, the clients like pay for the hotels and everything? So the only thing you're paying, for, I don't know, charging for is the actual clips. Uh, well, it depends. If it's something local, then I will charge for, of course, the work. Like yeah. if we spend the five hours, I'm charging for five hours plus the editing, post editing and stuff like this. So let's say, you know, that you're going to be editing for three hours. This is going to be it. Yep. Uh, also, when it goes to like father trips, you always need to ask them to pay for the hotel and transport because why would you 
pay for walking. Yeah, ex- it's like, exactly. Think about this way. Like you wouldn't pay to go to your office every day and sit there for eight hours. Why would you do the same with FPV? No, you yeah, exactly. Make it like this. Like you need to know that you totally deserve and everyone who will be there for filming, they probably had it paid for. Yeah. So don't undervalue yourself as well. And know that if you are going to have a recording for three days, so you have to be three days out of home, this is a different price than going for a couple of hours because you cannot come back home. Yeah, exactly. And one thing that a lot of people do is that they just forget about the small things. They're like, oh yeah, I was eating at this uh, during the shoot, like at this restaurant. And I, my, oh, I was only taking the train. I didn't drive myself. So it's only like 17 euros. But if every shoot is like that, it's going to end up in hundreds, maybe thousands of euros every year. So Just including all the small things, even if you just like, oh yeah, it's only 17 euros, I will get uh, a thousand euros for the shoot, so it doesn't matter, but just be very like uh, focused on getting all the small uh, like amounts uh, down is uh, really important. Yeah, exactly. If you are in a train for three hours, you are not doing anything else for those three hours. So it doesn't matter that you are not driving. You can be editing, then it's double the win for you. But you need to remember just not to undervalue yourself. Yeah, and also, uh, I know we talked about this before, but uh, when it comes to pricing, uh, the most important thing in my uh, opinion is uh, never give your price to the clients. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about this. So. Yeah, you want to tell them more about this? Yeah, so you need to remember that every single client you will meet will say something along the lines of, we have a tight budget, we have a limited budget and stuff like this. And it's like, if you tell your price first, you lost. Yeah, you exactly. You completely lost. Yeah. Make them tell the price what is their budget first and when they tell you like oh we have a budget of 2000 euros you can say okay for 2000 euros I can do this this and this but since I like you I can also add a little extra yeah then they feel special because they got something for free yeah Uh, but if they're uh, if they're like hey we want you to do a full three-day video and stuff like this but for 2000 euros you're like three days of work without paying me for hotel transport and stuff like this this is this is not good be sure that you are specific that they have to pay for it that's first and two say i cannot do it for this and use things like well for this money the least uh, the least i have done or the most i have done for this money was this and this yeah and since i like you i can add that uh but you know just don't go for everything like if someone says hey we need you for a week and we'll pay you 100 dollars," you're like come on yeah exactly and there's two things that's important that is uh giving them the price first will also um maybe take away your chances of getting a higher fee because i've done a really really big mistake once i i there was a like half big company reached out like we need you to come over and do some shooting and i was like i was just focusing on like i'm so excited because this company is big and it's gonna benefit me and i was like okay okay my pr- i can do it and i will do it for a very good price i can come over if you cover my expenses i can do it for 500 euros and they were like really yeah because we had like 2500 euros for the budget for these clips and i was like oh shit. yeah i was like oh shit <laughs> so that's like a big mistake like the one that tells the price first is the one that lost the like the the bid the stuff uh, and also, I think it's, uh, I'm, but also in the beginning, I think it's very important to be realistic with your prices. It's it's easier to just watch a YouTube video of some like really high end pilots, and they're like, oh, this guy is charging two thousand euros per day, so I can do the same thing. But being a little realistic uh, about yourself is very important, and also, like, but don't underestimate yourself and your product because there is a reason why you're about to land this client it's because they like your product so don't be stupid and charge like 10 percent of the fees that like big companies do so i think there's a it's a, yeah, exactly. it's a line there that you have to like really like think about when trying to land uh, the clients yeah also you need to remember that you paid a lot for the gear itself yes. too so you need to charge for this as well and never forget that only the filming is half the job because you also have to edit it unless they really want raw files but then it's like okay yeah and that's one thing too like there is there will be some uh, companies that says like we have hired a company for to do all the editing the only thing we need for you is the raw file 
and that's something that sits like really deep uh, because I I hate giving away like my content not knowing how it will turn out and of course there is sometimes you have to do it because there is no other way but I have had like because for most work I use real steady I use my specific like color grade and stuff like that that I know like works really well and I remember one time I sent like the clip to the people there and they didn't use any type of stabilization and it was like but why and there's and I know why is because they are used to working with the the normal uh, DJI drones which has a gimbal and makes really smooth clips but they never worked with FPV stuff so I think it's like don't be too harsh on that but say that if I can do some of the processing the the product will turn out so much better than if uh, some yes. people that doesn't know FPV is going to do it yeah, exactly. That's also really important. Yeah. So I think we covered a lot of good things, but I want to end this with we doing both, like both are doing five tips that's going to help you on lying, landing a lot of clients. Um, Lexi, your tip number one. Get a website and uh, with the website, get a normal email because like johnsmith at gmail.com doesn't sound as professional as john at smith.com and stuff like this exactly and when you have a website you can use a whole type of your portfolio your photos your videos and everything and just keep it there so you don't have to be like oh i made this and this and this but everything is in one spot and it looks professional it's that's a very very good tip and my first tip is gonna be being realistic with the clients always being realistic like the worst feeling ever is showing up at a shoot and people are gonna be disappointed when when it comes to clients it's super easy to to get them uh excited but it will never get them if you make them like disappointed you will never gonna get them back to the, the level when you were starting so i think being honest with yourself and with the clients is always really really important yeah Okay, my second one is uh, build a network of people who know what you are doing. You don't have to be like, hey, I have a YouTube channel, watch the videos. No, just do something next to them or if they want to see, show them. And then there is a chance that they will actually be like, I know a person that you need and you may land a job from this. Yeah, that's really smart. Um, uh, I think for my second question, no, second tip is use your friends and family for what it's worth because i have had friends and i have had families that had landed me clients without me doing anything like friends that has like oh i have a friend he has a car dealership and he saw one of her videos and here's his number he's up for the for landing a job and i he's like i i didn't lift a finger but my friends did like the part for me with when it comes because they have if you think about it all your family members and all your friends combined have like a huge network that you don't have so i think it's more like right. tell your friends that not not like to go around and hand out like credit like uh, cards or stuff like that but yeah. to be like just have them the ears open and yeah i think that's super important yeah that's really important okay another tip for me is be prepared for any type of a job even if a client says i just want this and this be sure that you also take some extra stuff for just in case because maybe something will be better like i was once on the job and we were doing a course in the mountains and i actually had a sign whoop with me and i said hey i could actually fly through your sunroof and get out in the trunk and she was like "Ooh, you can't do that so it's really important to be prepared because one, they see the normal drone and they're like, you're not getting into my car. Yep. But then you show them the sign wall with all those, you know, plushy things and they're like, oh yes, you do it. Yeah, exactly. So then it's that's over delivering. A, yeah, that's a super, super good tip. And my third tip is uh, going to be building your portfolio. And oh, same yes. thing as like the web page. The first thing they're going to look at is your portfolio. And I don't mean don't post your portfolio before you have landed a lot of clients with famous or big companies but go out every time you have free time go out and fly and like build your portfolio based on non-client work too because i think a lot of people mm. think that portfolio is just client work like just working with companies but half of my portfolio is just me cruising on mountains and flying inside my own house you get what i mean but people don't know yeah. that so i think it's important to just yeah, that's, that's a the, good tip. The baddest like tip is to not 
have anything. They go to your webpage, there's like one video, which is not like, it's not relevant to what they do at all. Like, mm. oh, there's this interior shop and they see one video and that is you chasing a race, like a drift car. That's not relevant. Yeah, so I think it's... doing a lot of, for your portfolio, doing a, a lot of like different stuff, even if it's just you going out, chasing your friend who is running with a Cinevoop, I think it's, yeah, I think building your portfolio to reach uh, the most people and different companies is very important. Yeah. Okay, my next tip is don't oversell yourself. Like, if you go into a client being like, I'm the best racing pilot, I did stuff for Lamborghini and, I don't know, um, Porsche and stuff like this, and they're like, oh, can we see videos? No, I don't have them. It's like, oh. Like, if someone is going really, like, I'm so amazing and stuff, that it feels kind of weird for a person who's reading it. So don't try to oversell yourself how awesome you are, but say more what you can do to them. Yeah. And how you can deliver stuff. Talk about them, not talk about you. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's uh, for me, the number one tip when it comes to working with clients is that reaching out is it's not like they have to think that you are bringing them an asset not you yes. like it, it doesn't need, have to be like i want this i want this it has to be like i have this product and this is gonna benefit you that's the main thing like exactly. yeah and the fourth tip i think we are at four uh correct me if I i'm wrong i think we're at four yeah yeah um is be very polite when you're working on sets uh, because mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of uh, FPV people, they're like, they're showing up at a set and they're like, oh yeah, I need this, I need this, I need this. But when it comes yeah. to the end, like if you're doing a movie shoot, there's probably going to be 10, 15 other cameras and your FPV part is like one and a half minute of the movie. You get what I mean? So yeah. like being always being polite, even when you're not shooting, I tend to walk over to other people and like, can I help you with anything? Like, yeah. not to just sit there and wait until like, oh yeah, you're go, here's your one and a half minutes and you're flying. Just be very helpful and don't think, don't be like an asshole also working with clients. Like, yeah. like be polite and be like honest with your work. And I think that's going to be really helpful for building like relations, uh, relationships with uh, the clients. Yeah, that's true. They will see and they will remember. Exactly. It's really important. If it's a pain to work with you, no one will work with you. True. My last tip is keep learning and keep showing in your portfolio that you are learning something new. There's a lot of courses on Udemy or on YouTube or on Skillshare and other places like this. And just showing that you are getting better at your skill set, that's also saying something to the producer and to a client. Because if they see that you are getting better, then they know that they may be like, I know that you don't do this, but would you be willing to do something like this? And you're like, yeah, give me a week. Yeah, I think that's very, very important. I, I remember some of the clients, I reached out to them like a year ago and they saw some of my clips. And th okay. this specific one was like about nature stuff. So they saw some of it. And after my recent trip to Lofoten, uh, they reached out to me again. I was like, dude, we saw your Lofoten video and this is exactly what we wanted. Like, there was people I was talking to a year ago and I was like, yeah, I'm never going to work with them. But just me reaching out there a year ago and they watching me like evolve to becoming like a higher value, like FPV pilot. I think it's, yeah, it's very important to, to like always focusing on for every video, making it a little bit better. Yes, exactly. Self growth. Yeah, exactly. That's super, super important. So for my last tip, and this is something I really wish I could tell myself when I was starting out is don't compare yourself to anyone. That is so important. Like it's so easy to go on social media and look at people that has done this for 10 years and be like, oh, he can do this. He gets this job and this job. And here I am. I can't even land uh, jobs locally. So I think it's important to be like thinking these people was starting somewhere too. And, uh, Comparing yourself to others is going to drag you so down and yeah, you're not going to be able to, to build your career. And also important is not to, not to take personal, take it personal when people don't want your work. Uh, like if you reach out and a company is like, no, we're not interested in your work. You, you can't be like, okay, so that that's main. That's just because my work isn't good enough. 
now it can be because their their focus on social media is on another level of having a drone flying in their shop or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, so I think that's important. Like, don't compare yourself to anyone and don't like be sad or get feel bad if someone don't want your service because that happens in literally any situation even when you're at a restaurant and the waiter tells you like do you want another soda or do you want a coffee you can't be like and you'd be like no i'm fine they're not gonna be like oh so that's because i don't do my job good enough yeah, that exactly. he doesn't want the the coffee so yeah i think it's so important to just believe in yourself and your product because at one point you're gonna realize that your product is more than good enough and fpv is so unique that there is like hundreds of thousands possibilities when it comes to flying those drones so yeah that's maybe yeah. the best tip i can ever give yeah probably uh so i will just add to it if you want to compare yourself to anyone compared to yourself from a week ago a month ago or a year ago sometimes when you rewatch your videos from like a year ago you're like oh god yeah it happens to me so many times i i <laughs> yeah. i get a like on a really old video i'm like clicking it i'm like why oh, did i color grade this like it was like 1980 or why did i edit it like this why did i cut out the best parts and you're gonna be like okay but i'm so much better than that so if i keep doing this another year i'm gonna be five times better than i was like a half yeah, a year exactly. ago so yes always thinking if you're gonna compare yourself to anyone it really has to be yourself yes exactly and yeah that's 10 tips Woo! wow that was uh hard but we managed to pull it through <laughs> so once again if yes. you haven't seen the first part when it comes to landing clients and stuff it's over at lexi's channel it's the first link in the description and i think that's a wrap i hope uh yeah. that you uh are more like ready to reach out to clients and stuff. And also I will include my social media and my email. So if you have any questions regarding client work, don't be afraid of asking because I have posted a lot of like a client uh, work lately where I've been talking and stuff. And I get a lot of messages and PMs about stuff. And it seems like people like are kind of afraid of asking in the comments because they don't, don't want to look stupid. So just yeah. reach out in any way and I'm ready to answer anything. And See you okay. next time. Thank you so much for joining in. Yeah, thank you for having me and see you in the next one. Yes, we Bye. will. Bye.